Hi, my name is Karina and welcome to the Karina Chronicles. My great reading speed of summer, my great reading vibes, my summery reading sprints have very cruelly ended as soon as autumn came. But I still want to show you the two books. Well, the one and a half book that I've read this month. So a quick video, but I do have opinions. So where I read like minimum of six books for the last few months since summer started, I was on a great reading mood and I was like going strong. And I was like, oh, if I finish like eight books this month and nine books next month, I can even finish like my greater reading goal. I have like a first reading goal and a second reading goal. And I, well, didn't happen. I finished to begin with The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This book was amazing. Uh, before I actually got to read it, it took me quite some time, but when I actually read it, I almost couldn't put it down. This is such an incredible mystery thriller. I can't really spoil what it is about, but it is more than a mystery thriller and it is so addicting. It's so addicting and so special. It's so creative, original. Can I <laughs> give you more? positive words about this. In the end, I gave it four stars. At first I gave it five, but I was later like, okay, Karina, you can do that. I can do that because there were some characters that I found in the end to be underdeveloped. And I thought that was important for the story that they would be more developed. And that is why I gave it four stars instead of five, but the rest is perfect. Like there are so many clues hidden in the text and you're like uh, this is a plot hole there's something wrong and then the last 100 or maybe 150 pages everything comes together like nothing is overlooked everything solves and it's incredible so you have this kind of detective you don't know if he's a detective or just a random guy he wakes up in a body with no memories but he just feels like he doesn't fit in this body and um, apparently he is right, because he finds out this takes some time. So it kind of technically is a spoiler, but it already says so on the back. And I need to tell you to tell you kind of the vibe of the book. So he finds out that he is assigned to uh, solve a murder or stop a murder from happening. One of those two. Um, by reliving the same day on which this person gets murdered every time from another body and so another perspective another witness and um well <laughs> that is of course confusing because he doesn't know why how who is going to be next what this person can do and whatnot he needs to get to know his new body it's very weird. It's called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I think it's only in day three or something. He finds, I, he finds out that Evelyn Hardcastle is the one who gets murdered. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It is very confusing. The beginning is quite slow. And some people actually stop reading then. Don't. <laughs> I mean, yes, it is slow. But it is necessary because you also... Well, he's confused. Obviously, he's confused. Because... What would you do if you wake up with no memories in a random body? That is weird, right? But it's such a creative story. He only wrote one other book, um, The Devil and the Dark Water. I'm definitely going to read that one because this one was incredible. So that was a good start. Four star rating. Great. Then I tried to read this book again. I already tried earlier. And after one page, I was so like, this is not for me that I read five other books or something before I picked it up again. But I promised a friend that I would read it. So I was like, no, I'm now going to read this first before I start with my November TBR. Um, I am at the end of November at page 54. So I have read some pages. It highly annoys me. Like... 
I want to say that this book is like not the worst book that I've ever read and um, that that was actually that that was actually annoying because when you read the worst book you've ever read you can rant about it but this book just sparked no emotion with me but um, it's getting some emotions for me because literally every character in here is dislikable which is okay if the plot is interesting but the story is about the characters these are just some characters in a little city or a or a village even, and uh, they are all connected in some way. You have a thousand perspectives and uh, well, it's just so weird. I don't even know if it's a romance. It sounds like a romance. The English title is a, gar a garden's delight. Well, and I mean the cover, this, this sounds like a romance, but I have no, I have not seen any romance yet. I have not seen anything interesting happen yet. I'm at chapter 6 out of 64. So you can imagine how well that is going. Um, I am still planning on finishing this this month or denaving it. I am not going to read this in December anymore. It is the 29th when I'm filming this. It's going up on the 30th of November. I pretend that I have finished it already, because if not, I'm going to DNF it. I have never DNF'd a book in my entire life. But I am not going to struggle another month with this book. It ruined my whole reading challenge and everything. I'm not going to do that. So, this book will be finished in November. Either one way or another. And I will probably give it one star. Or maybe two, if it gets better than this. But... Already that it got me in a slump is giving me the vibes of I need to give this one star. So that is bad. So unfortunately, that was already it for this video. <laughs> I know this is probably one of the shortest videos I have ever made. I have only finished one book and I'm going to finish two this month. I am sorry for not having more content. I'm going to do better in December. I know because I'm going to put this book down. Uh, Either one way or another. And after this I'm going to reread the favorite. So that will probably help. And also some other books that I'm very excited about. And I have both a readathon and a 24 hour reading challenge in, in December. Which means that I will be able to read more. That said, it's still going to be a challenge next month. Because it's the busiest month for me at work as well. So I hope... That next month I can show you more books than these two. Because this was, this was horrible. Well, at least it was very clear which one was my favorite. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite books of the year. So that is good. I did do one good thing. But I also have some material for like the worst book of the year. Is this the worst book? I read more bad books. But those bad books at least tried to do something good. Here the characters are mean on purpose but why would you do that if you base a whole story on characters only they should be likable in some way and literally every character in here is a bitch or weird in not a good way so anyway that was it i hope you had a better reading month than i did please let me know down in the comments below <laughs> if you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, you will be notified whenever I post a new video, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll have a lovely day filled with books and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I really hope I will end the year strong and not like this. Like December needs to be better, okay? And I'm sorry I have this break. I'm filming in the middle of my place. Well. Stein.